After understanding the process synchronization need that was interdependent and dependent processes and we would be concentrating more on cooperative process that is interdependent process. Let's try to understand one of the most important thing of process synchronization called critical region. In some cases it is also known as critical section. Let's try to first understand the basic terms. In a layman's language what is critical region? Critical region is something which can be accessed only in a one at a time manner, kind of a mutual exclusion. There is a small example which will explain the same thing. Consider there is a room, maybe a fresh room, in which there is a queue of n people standing. Now, the room can be used only by one person at a time. Let's number them. This is person A, let's say this is B, C, D and E. Considering that A has already gained access, others are in waiting and A is within the critical region or a critical section. The moment A finishes its job, what would happen? A would simply come out of it and from the waiting queue, depending on some algorithm, Mr. B enters the system. Now C, D and E are waiting. The moment B will finish its job, again the same thing would happen. B would go off and probably the next one C gets in and the system would repeat. So basic idea over here is to understand the critical region is a specialized region which can be accessed one at a time manner. The term is known as mutual exclusion. This can be used for several things. Now, if we practically try to understand how critical region and why critical region, let's try to put it. Every program will have some part which is needed to access in mutual exclusive manner. Now this some part may refer to file access, database access, can be some variable access, now, this kind of access would require special attention. Why? Maybe when a program is accessing a particular file, maybe that file is used by 10 other processes. By this process, changing this particular file, X, Y and Z would be affected, which we don't want. Hence, process A would require mutual exclusion so that only it can access, modify the file and then later on others can access this information. Similar can be seen or understood for the database access or for the variable access. We don't want anybody to suffer when one of the process changes any data file or a table. So as we have already talked about the waiting and the critical region. Let's try to analyze in a programming language what basically entering critical region would mean. Well, there would be a loop which will monitor the activity and which will run till the time process needs to access again and again. That does mean that when process C gets out of it, it not necessarily finishes. It will go back at the end and wait in a queue to again enter the critical region. What exactly critical region programming wise would do? It is an endless loop till the time we have a true. That means till the time there is a need. So what all we do? We first make a request to enter critical region. The moment you gain access to the critical region, what you would be doing is do some task. Now do something would be accessing file, database or anything as we have said further. Similarly, it is your duty when you come out, you will also fire reminder. Why? Because consider an example, when process C comes out, it's duty to inform process D to get in again. So what C would say? Process C when comes out would inform D go in and at the same time this D would shift from the outside to the inside. So basically this is how critical section is supposed to work.